Dear students, this is the revision of how to draw structure of diamond, graphite, sodium chloride, and cesium chloride. Here I will draw part of the joint's covalent structure of diamond with network of strong covalent bond between carbon atoms. Each carbon atom is covalently bound to four other carbon atoms by single covalent bond. After that, we draw three vertical lines from these three carbon. And then we connect with three more carbon atoms in this way, like a hexagon. After that, we can draw three more carbon As shown, you can see each carbon, each carbon atom bond tetrahedrally to four other carbon atom, and three has gone in that part of the structure. You can count the number of carbon atom appear in a drawing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Of course, you must include a key in your drawing. Each circle represents a carbon atom. Secondly, I will draw part of the joint covalent structure of graphite with network of strong covalent bond between carbon atoms. Each carbon atom bond trigonally to three other carbon in a hexagonal layer manner. We need to draw at least three hexagon in each layer. And we need to draw at least three layers. Since the first layer eclipses with the second layer, but coincides with the third la layer. So we can draw the third layer by copying the first layer. Like this. Then we shift the second layer a little bit on the right by placing this carbon a little bit on the right in this position and repeat what we draw for the first layer. We can also show the weak intermolecular force holding layers together by drawing doctor lines between the layers with proper labeling, weak van der Waal force. You can count the number of carbon atoms appear in each layer. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Lastly, include a key in your drawing. The third structure is sodium chloride. Sodium chloride exhibits giant ionic structure with strong ionic bond between sodium ion and chloride ion. In order to draw the unit cell more accurately, we need to do some preparatory drawing. Firstly, we draw a cube. Like that.
Then we divide each face into four equal parts. They're all together six faces. So we'll divide each faces each face into four equal parts. Now we create two more faces here. And again, we need to divide these two faces into four equal parts separately. Now we are ready to draw sodium ion and chloride ion onto this cube. Always place oppositely charged ion adjacent to each other. So this circle represents chloride ion and this one representing sodium ion. After drawing the first layer, we can generate the third layer by copying the first layer. Then draw the second layer. Never draw ions of same charge adjacent to each other. So here, we need to draw oppositely charged ions adjacent to each other. Check that there should be an iron in the center of the cube, either sodium iron or chloride iron, depends on your drawing. You can see each sodium iron is surrounded by six chloride iron and vice versa. Don't forget, don't forget your key. Lastly, unit cell of cesium chloride. Cesium chloride exhibits giant ionic structure with strong ionic bonds between cesium ion and chloride ion. Again, we draw a cube to represent the unit cell. Draw on each corner eight cesium ion. In the body center of this cube, draw chloride ion. You can see each cesium ion is surrounded by eight chloride ion and vice versa. Lastly, the key.